By the way, Amman Citadel has been consist to three main terraces. We are standing by the middle terrace. The upper terrace in front of you where you can see the high columns. And that's mainly the temple of Hercules. Behind you on that side where the royal palaces are, that's the lower terrace. We are in the middle terrace. That's the upper terrace. Uh, we're going to walk along that path. Here in Citadel. Okay. Let me do the explanation. That's the main reason. This has been followed since the Greek time. Believe it or not, I know some people are still having water collected from top of their building. One time rain, enough to use water for the whole year. Because this area and the Middle East in general is so dry and heat. So the Roman ruins, which is the theater. Most of the people around the world, they call them amphitheaters, which is wrong. Why? I'll tell you why. Because the theaters were made in three different forms. And they have three different names. You have a theater, you have amphitheater, you have coliseum. What's the difference? Theater is the smallest. Amphitheater is a medium. Coliseum is the biggest. In shape, the theater is a half circle, the stage with the orchestra. Amphitheater is a semicircle. Coliseum is a complete circle. But it has something to do with how many terraces you have. The one we have here, it has three terraces. For your information, that the theater represents the population number. So you can figure out the population number in any Roman city from the size of the theater. Because the theater has to fit 7 to 10 percent of the population. The, the downtown Amman Theater, capital city is about 5,000 people. So the city population was close to 10,000. This is how you can figure out the population number in any Roman city round. Okay? B side, from that terrace, we used to have a steps lead all the way down to the theater during the Roman time. But with the earthquakes, a lot of it has been destroyed. Big part of the city is dumped underground. And with the new excavations that what we found underground, some houses right in front of you, right here. And they're still having excavations up on that side. Earthquakes changed a lot. And the biggest earthquake in history back to 748, 49, destroyed most of the Roman cities and ruined the whole world. You can stay here in the shade. But only in Jordan, in Israel. Egypt, in Lebanon, was over 12 degrees. They assumed it was over 12 degrees. Uh, papunta kami dun sa Hercules, yung parang uh, poste na inaano ni Hercules. Hindi ka nakapag... Tapos ka inyo sa liyan. Documentary. Sakit niya. Yung mga bahay na parang nasa Baguio ka lang. Now we found here Muslim ruins. This is back to the Abbasid period of time, back to the 9th century AD. The only thing that we found belongs to the Roman between these ruins is these two steps. But it used to lead up to the temple of Hercules right on top. Oh, temple of the Hercules. Now, you know that all the temples are always facing east? Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And the church is facing where? West. 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 Why? Who changed it? Why they face it that way? Constantine? No. <laughs> Constantine did, but why? What's the significance of facing the church apses to the east and the church's entrances to the That's east. coming from the buildings used to be on this side. Now look at our buildings in Jordan and most of the Middle East countries. Most of them do have a flat roof. Why? Oh, 
Grabe, no? Daming bahay. Ano po? Old, old Jordan? Hindi, New City. Ah, New City? Hindi New City. Yung pinanggalingan natin sa Old City. So, kaya marami na siyang bahay. Puro bahay, oh. Puro skuro, ano, parang condominium. Sabay na. Actually, sa Tumikol Zil, sabi nilang theater. So, we're heading now talaga sa Hercules stage. Screw. Screw it. Screw or blue? By the time they lifted up the drum and put it on the bass, as you can see, the drums will have holes in them. That's the holes they carry the drums with. Each drum, the big ones, is at least five to six on each one. The bottom ones, they used to roll them and sit them up on the bass. The upper ones, they use the left. Now, whenever they put a new one on top, they already have a hole down at the bottom. So they make a hole in the upper. Same size from the bottom to the top, it will be easy to collapse. If you put a thick point in the middle, that will hold the top and the bottom at the same time. And they don't collapse easily. The other thing is, that's the reason it's called. The second reason, it's an illusion. Highly is the Hercules temple. We're done. We're done. Okay. Yeah.